Welcome again. Today we're going to work on some very basic color mixing. Don't want to insult anybody's intelligence, but this is one of the most important videos you can watch. So we're not just going to go red and yellow make orange. I want to get into mixing the neutrals and talking about the complementary colors. So I'm going to change cameras now and we're going to go to the table. Here we go. Let's start simple. All right. We know and this is simple enough, but I'm going to cover it anyway. We know that blue and we know that yellow together plus equals green. Oops, too much green, but that's green. It looks black. It's not black. It's green. There we go. <clears throat> we know that red and yellow make orange. We know that red and blue together are going to make a violet or purple. Now, because this and this and this are made second, these are called the primary colors, the number one colors. Because you mix two, these are secondary colors. Now, if you continue, you're going to get tertiary colors, etc. But we're not going to get into that. All righty. So far, so good. Now, when you do this, you look at your color wheel and you see that blue is directly across from orange. That means they are complementary colors. And I'll talk about that in just a minute. Red and green. Oops, sorry, get my hand out of the way. Complementary colors because they are across from each other on the color wheel. Yellow and violet across from each other on the color wheel. That makes them complementary. Now, those are the ones we're going to work with today, but to further your understanding, when you get a red orange, across from it is a blue green, et cetera, et cetera, and so on. Now, why in the world does that matter? I'm going to show you. Here we go. If I have red, this is what I'm doing. I have my red right here. Put it in the mixing wheel. Now I'm going to put a little green in it. Mix it together. And it's a darker red. I'm going to put a little more green in it. And it's going to be a darker red on its way to brown. Put a little more green in it. Let me see. I want this to get to brown. And we've got a brown. Now that's because the complementary colors mix together half and half or that much is they're going to be a neutral. This is how I can get richer, richer, richer. Now, if I keep adding the green, I'm going to have a dark green. 
if I add some more green, there you go. Oops, not enough water. Let me spread that out for you. And eventually, we're going to be back to the very green we started with. So consequently, if we have our green, and you know what's about to happen now, I've got it right here, got my green, I add, look, a little black of red, it's going to darken that green. I'm going to pull it out so you can see. More red, darker, more red, we're going to wind up, guess where? Both are brown. Add more red, and our brown is going to turn into a reddish brown right here. Add more red. Add more red. Oops. That wasn't enough red, guys. More red. Until we eventually come out where we started. That's how the complements work. Another way the complements work is if you put them next to each other in a painting, they will pop each other. They will bring each other out. So this is one way to mix your browns. Now, nothing's wrong with buying browns. I just like to mix mine and I like to show you how and what it matters. So now you might want to pause it and work with this for just a little bit. Then we're going to come back and we will we'll do blue and orange. All right, here we are. Blue, we've got our blue right here. And I'm gonna put this blue in here. See it? I'm gonna add a little orange. Too much orange. There you go. And this takes practice and I'm gonna get a darker, it's almost a midnight blue. I'm going to add more orange, just a tad, just a tad. It's a darker blue. I'm going to add more orange. And I'm going to wind up with, let me, a gray. That's the neutral. So here we've got four, three different blues and a gray. I'm going to add a little more orange. I'm going to add a little more orange. I'm going to add a little more orange. Until eventually we add enough orange that we are right back where we started. So we can do blue, a little orange, it's the complement. A little more, a little more, and as you add more and more orange, you wind up with orange. Now, let's do it the other way. We'll have room, can you see it? There's orange. I'm gonna add a little bit of blue. Let me get this up here to the orange. And I've got a pumpkin, more of a pumpkin blue. I'm going to stick some more blue in here. And we've got another fall orange. I'm going to put more blue in here. Oop. Here we go, more blue in here. wind up with the neutral. Now we're going to add more blue. 
I'm getting a little contaminated here. Let me knock some of that off. We're going to wind up with Midnight Blue. More blue until eventually we're back to the blue we started with. Now, these have bled together, not on purpose. Let me move this. But since they are, and these are merging, look how they are turning into a neutral. See how they merge together? So you don't always have to mix them on the palette. You can put them next to each other and they will merge. And we'll spread this out. The same thing is happening here. So I can put some blue next to my orange. I don't think I have enough water in here. And as they merge in here, you're going to get a neutral. Now, ideally, ideally, all of your primaries and secondaries or complements will mix to get a gray. Well, good luck. I stick with the neutral. You can work yourself to death trying to get them all to be new, a gray. I know how to get my gray right here. I know how to get my brown, know how to get my brown. We're going to do violet and yellow in a minute. If, for example, you're mixing your red and your green and it is not working, it may be that your red is too orange. Now, don't make too much out of this. Now, I know my compliments work because I've worked with it for years and I have it set up that way on purpose. So if you want to pause, work on that a little bit. I'm going to turn over and then we will do the yellow and the violet. Okay, since my little well is so contaminated, I'm going to use this mixing well. And I'm going to start with the violet here. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow. I need more violet than that. It needs to be denser so you can see what I'm doing. There it is. Now, let's put a little bit of yellow in here. And it's going to change that violet from such a brilliant violet. Now let's put a little more yellow in here. Let's put some more yellow. And you see where we're headed. More yellow. And this is something you just have to work with, experiment with. Get to know what you have on your palette. It'll be different, excuse me, that wasn't enough. Everybody you read are gonna recommend different colors, different ways of mixing, and you will figure out your own ways too. It just takes some practice and eventually, now I didn't leave room, these two are too close together. And we're back to the yellow. Now, I'm making this look a little easier than it really is. Yellow, a little brown, a little more violet. Now the yellow has a very short value range. So for me, this is the hardest combination to work with because it doesn't cut you much slack. All right, add a little more violet. See it turning violet? It's beginning to turn. More violet, more violet, and we are back where we started. Again, if we blend them, let's blend them this way, this way, 
this way. See, we've mixed neutral with neutral. We're gonna get the neutral. We've mixed the yellow with the violet. They're gonna to blend to be a neutral. Did I mess that up for you? Can you see that? Same thing here as you blend them. So out of six, we've got six colors on our palette and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 different colors that you can mix. Now, it does take some time. It does take some practice. If you use a blue and your orange and it turns green, that's going to tell you that one of these is too yellow because blue and yellow make green. Now, I think I might have you thoroughly and completely confused here. I don't mean to. I know it sounds confusing, but what you really want to do is just get some paper, sit back while you're watching a movie maybe, and just mix, mix, mix the different colors and see what you get. And then you are all well on your way into color theory. This is basically what that is. Now, what I want to do too is let you know, let me see if I can do this neatly. I do watercolor classes every day. And I would encourage you to check them out. website. Okay. Well, I did that wrong, didn't I? Let me do this differently. I need to have this printed for you. Z A L T I S. So go here, look at some of my classes and get in touch with me if you would like to. In the meantime, make glorious messes with your paints. And I will see you for the next step on another video. Thank you for watching. I would appreciate it if you would like and if you would comment, particularly if you would subscribe. And I will see you next time.